Everybody the world over had a pretty limited opinion on what a turtle could be. But then, in 1984, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird blew the doors wide open when they created the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But what if we were to tell you that there are some real turtles that are even more incredible and even stranger than those from works of fiction? Yes, even stranger than Great Atuine from Terry Pratchett's Discworld novels. These are turtles you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Turtle Born with Exposed Heart This tiny turtle social media influencer has not one, but two unusual conditions. Born in New Jersey in 2019, Hope is an albino sulcata turtle. The breed is very rare, but so too is the fact she was born with her heart beating outside her body. Hope suffers from the disorder Ectopia cordis, a condition that affects about 1 in 126,000 births. She has more than 235,000 followers on Instagram and has beaten all the odds stacked against her. When swimming, eating, and diving in her tank, Hope's heart can be seen beating through a small hole in her stomach. But despite this awe-inspiring phenomenon, the fragile little turtle continues to thrive. As an albino turtle, Hope's birth drew plenty of public interest, but her exposed heart has made her all the more intriguing. With a one-of-a-kind condition like this, there are really no guidelines to follow, so poor Hope must be kept isolated from other turtles. She is also handled as little as possible. Sad. Although endangered, the albino turtle does tend to live longer than other albino animals across the globe. So that's at least one bonus. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. Just take a look at this crazy guy. Earlier, I mentioned the fictional Great Atuine. Well, this turtle looks almost big enough to actually be Great Atuine. The question is, is it real? We here at Factsopedia HQ are kind of debating ourselves. Apparently taken in Brazil, this photo shows the corpse of a colossal turtle being escorted away as flabbergasted bystanders watch from the sidelines. Some people think this turtle's merely a prop from an upcoming movie set that's a little too realistic for its own good, while others insist that there really are turtles this big out there. What do you think? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 14. Mata Mata Turtle, Keyless Fimbriatus. This turtle looks like any other until you see its head. You almost have to take a closer look to convince yourself that it is indeed a turtle. One of the most unusual looking turtles on the planet, the Mata Mata is difficult to describe. And he's gonna probably hunt him down. Oh, there's one right there. Whoa! Its head and neck are almost crocodile-like, but most say it looks a little bit like debris found at the bottom of a vernal pool, such as leaves or a piece of bark from the forest floor. If you weren't aware of the breed, you might simply walk right past without a second glance. It is so easily camouflaged. The shell is a mix of brown, red, and black. The neck has a rigid texture, and the head is wide with a pointy nose. Newly hatched specimens are more brightly colored like a tropical leaf. This coloring gradually disappears as they grow. A large, sedentary turtle, the Mata Mata was first described by French naturalist Pierre Barrere in 1741. It was classified as a breed of turtle by German naturalist Johann Gottlob Schneider in 1783. The turtle was originally named Tetsudo Fimbriata, but was renamed 14 times in two centuries. Number 13. African Helmeted Turtle, Palomedusa subrufa. 
Typically a rather small turtle, the African helmeted species usually reaches around 20 centimeters in length. They can be easily held in the palm of your hand and have a smooth black to brown shell. The limbs are normally grayish in color and the underside of the body is a yellow shade. A cute little character, they're not only small, but they have an interesting little face. Their little nose looks a lot like that of a small pig, and they have a large, smiling mouth. This big grin makes them look like a friendly wee character that is always happy. The male and female can be easily distinguished, as the male has a long, thick tail and the female a shorter one. She also has a broader shell. Unlike other species of the same family, the African helmeted turtle doesn't have a hinged lower shell that can be pulled shut to protect the front legs and head. However, the turtle's thick, muscular neck can be used as an extra limb, so if it falls onto its back, it can quickly right itself again. The African helmeted turtle is semi-aquatic and has a preference for swamps, dams, and lakes. It's an omnivorous eater and will feed on almost anything, with its fine claws able to help tear prey apart. Number 12. Red-bellied, short-necked turtle, Emidura subglobosa. These appealing, side-necked turtles are popular as pets. In captivity, they live in aquariums and feed on fish, commercial turtle pellets, and plant matter. In the wild, their preferred habitats are rivers, swamps, and ponds. A highly aquatic turtle, the red-bellied short-necked species, spends most of their life in water where they forage for small fish, worms, water snails, insect larvae, and small yabbies. They rarely leave the pond, but occasionally do so to bask in the sun or nest. The nesting season lasts from February to July, with the turtle leaving the water once or twice to quickly dig a hollow nest. This nest is often located between grass tussocks, making the eggs difficult to locate. Their shells are medium to charcoal gray in color with a notable coral red on the edges. This color is also obvious under the shell and on the turtle's belly, hence the name. The red-bellied short-necked turtle has a dark gray head with a yellow stripe behind the eye, and the bright coral red is obvious again under the bottom jaw. The male is smaller than the female, and he has a more elongated tail. They will eat almost anything, including worms, lean beef, chicken livers and hearts, fish, trout chow, as well as the occasional piece of banana and various greens. Number 11. Rhode Island Snake-Necked Turtle, Keladina McCordy. Just one look at this unusual little turtle and you will easily guess at least part of its name. The Rhode Island Snake-Necked Turtle has a long neck and a mouth very much like that of a snake. They also have captivating eyes <laughs> with a distinctive black iris surrounded by a white ring. These turtles' necks are so long that they are unable to withdraw their heads directly back into their shell like most other turtles can do. Instead, they have to tuck them in sideways. Their shells measure up to 24 centimeters long and are normally pale gray or brown, with the occasional specimen chestnut colored. The underside is pale buff white. The Rhode Island snake neck was discovered in 1891. It split from the New Guinea species of the same turtle in 1994, and since then it has been regarded as a distinct species. The turtle is a critically endangered species on the brink of extinction. It is native to the island of Rote, Indonesia, and heavily targeted by the international pet trade. There is also only 70 square kilometers of available habitat for these turtles, leaving it with very little options to live. Number 10. Radiated Tortoise Astrocheles radiata This tortoise is truly a fascinating individual, with its distinctive shell making it easily recognizable. Endemic to the spiny forest of southern Madagascar, little was known about the radiated tortoise until the late 1990s. 
Since then, studies have been undertaken and it is now believed the tortoise faces a very real threat of extinction. A large and striking species that may live up to 100 years of age, this tortoise was once considered one of the planet's most abundant. Look at the banding on this radiated right here. Degradation of its habitat, demands on its food source, and the international pet trade have all resulted in their population decline. After mating, the female can lay between 3 and 12 eggs in a previously excavated hole up to 20 centimeters deep. These eggs are left to incubate, a process that can take up to 8 months. When hatched, they measure between 1.2 and 1.6 inches. The radiated tortoise prefers dry regions of brush, thorn forests, and woodlands. They are herbivores and feed on grasses, fruits, and succulent plants, preferring new growth rather than mature growth. This is because of its high-protein, low-fiber content. Number 9. Leatherback Sea Turtle Dermochelis coriacea Leatherbacks are the only remaining reptilian relics of a family of turtles that can trace its ancestry back more than 100 million years. The largest turtle on Earth, it also has a shell covered by skin and oily flesh rather than bone. This makes it flexible and almost rubbery to the touch. The leatherback has the most hydrodynamic body design of any sea turtle. With large front flippers able to propel it through the water. And they must be pretty strong flippers, as these giant turtles can weigh over 2,000 pounds and grow up to 7 feet long. They are impressive divers, reaching depths of 4,200 feet far deeper than any other turtle. They can stay at these depths for up to 85 minutes and are found in the tropic and temperate waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, as well as the Mediterranean Sea. Some adults of the species have also been known to travel as far north as Canada and Norway, and as far south as New Zealand and South America. These giant sea turtles exist almost entirely on jellyfish, effectively helping to control their population. Population. Although they were once found in almost every ocean except the Arctic and Antarctic, their numbers are rapidly declining, with one cause being the amount of plastic bags floating in the ocean. Unfortunately, the leatherback often mistakes these for jellyfish, and an estimated one-third of adults ingest them. Number 8. Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle Pelocelles cantorii this species of freshwater turtle is native to Southeast Asia. It is also endangered, with many disappearing in the 20th century. The Cantor's giant softshell turtle has an appearance not unlike a stingray. It lies flat and has a broad head and small eyes close to the tip of its snout. An exceptionally large turtle, they are known to reach over a meter in length and can weigh more than 100 kilograms. Also referred to as the frog-faced softshell due to its odd facial features, the giant softshell has an extremely large distribution. They can be found from Bangladesh to the Philippines and Borneo, and may comprise at least three species. These species have diverged from all other turtles over 40 million years ago, more than 10 million years before the divergence separating humans and baboons. Unfortunately, the giant softshell leads a fairly unexciting existence as it spends 95% of its life buried and motionless, with just its eyes and mouth protruding from the sand. It surfaces only twice a day to take a breath and is primarily found in inland, slow-moving, freshwater rivers and streams. Number 7. Alligator Snapping Turtle Macrochelis Timinchii The alligator snapping turtle is native to freshwater habitats in the United States. This dinosaur-like creature holds the record as the largest freshwater turtle in North America, with males weighing up to 90 kilograms. These turtles are very unique. They have large heads, strongly hooked beaks, long tails, and primitive-looking faces. 
pointed ridges run along their spiky shells, and their eyes sit on either side of their heads. This handy feature is helpful when trying to spot prey from the side, and allows them to latch onto anything that gets just a little bit too close. Their shell is dark brown, and they are occasionally confused with the common snapper. Unlike the alligator snapper, however, the common version has a distinct sawtooth tail. The alligator snapping turtle is primarily found in southeastern United States waters. They do not usually populate isolated wetlands or ponds, but can be found in oxbow lakes. Nesting females are usually the only turtles of this species to venture into open land. The rest prefer to stick to their chosen habitat. These turtles are known to have a dangerous bite, one that can break through the handle of a broom, and in rare cases, human fingers. If they need to be handled, extreme care should be taken. Number 6. Big-Headed Turtle Platysternum Megacephalum This poor turtle has one obvious design flaw. Its head is too big. It cannot be retracted into its shell. In fact, its shell serves very little purpose except to protect the turtle's back. The big-headed turtle is appropriately named because, as its name suggests, its head is significantly larger than its body. It is further enhanced by thick plates of armor on the top and sides and a solid bony skull. All serve to protect the turtle's head from predators. The tiny little character is known to be a weak swimmer, but a great climber, using its strong claws, unusually long tail, and beak to grasp rocks in fast-flowing water. And although it's unable to pull its head into its shell, it will not hesitate to use its powerful jaws to defend itself. The turtle uses both its claws and jaws to catch prey, which generally include fish and snails. Considered the sole representative of an entire branch of the tree of life more than 75 million years old, the big-headed turtle is now threatened by overexploitation. They are hunted for their meat and collected for the international pet trade, with both practices forcing it to be listed as endangered. Number 5. Yellow Blotched Map Turtle Graptemis Flava Maculata This beautiful turtle was classified as a threatened species in 1991. Its natural habitat has been destroyed by pollution from paper factories along the Pascocolola River system in Mississippi. Log snags that turtles use for basking and taking refuge are also being removed. The yellow blotched map turtle is now one of the world's rarest turtles. Move fish. Don't get in between. Only found in the Pascagoula River and with just a handful of breeders, numbers are depleting rapidly. These gorgeous turtles thrive in wide rivers with strong currents. Their shells feature obvious yellow blotch marks, and their head, neck, and legs also have striking yellow markings. They can often be seen basking in the branches and brush piles along the water's edge and are known to nest in shaded areas. Unfortunately, this raises their mortality rates, but due to human disturbances on and near sandbars, the turtles have little choice. A medium to small sized turtle, their shells measure between 3.5 and 7.5 inches. The female of the species is typically larger than the male. Although a normal meal would primarily consist of insects, the yellow blotched map turtle is considered an opportunistic feeder so will dine on crustaceans, fish, and some fresh plant matter if necessary. Number 4. Galapagos Giant Tortoise Chelanoidus nigra. The Galapagos giant tortoise is the largest living of the species, with most averaging over 100 years. The oldest ever recorded lived to the ripe old age of 152. Now that's one very old tortoise. <laughs> Not only can they reach phenomenal ages, but they have been known to exceed 5 feet in length and weigh up to 550 pounds. The giant tortoise and the islands they inhabit were first discovered by Spanish explorers in the 16th century. They named both the tortoises and the islands Galapagos. 
Studies have found that on islands with humid conditions, the shapes and sizes of these tortoises' shells vary. They are often larger, with domed shells and necks. Tortoises that populate islands with dry lowlands are mainly smaller. They have saddleback shells and long necks. Today, just 10 types of giant tortoise exist on these remote islands. In the 16th century, numbers began to decline significantly. Their population is believed to have dropped from 250,000 to a low of around 3,000 in the 1970s. During that time period, the tortoise was hunted for its meat and oil, their habitat was cleared for agriculture, and non-native animals like rats, goats, and pigs were introduced to the islands. These species continue to threaten the tortoise's food supply and eggs, and many are now listed as endangered or critically endangered. Number 3. Malayan Softshell Turtle, Dugania subplana. This species of softshell turtle is found in Burma, Thailand, Peninsular Malaysia, and Singapore to Borneo, Sumatra, the Natuna Islands, Java, and the Philippines. An elusive little character, the Malayan softshell turtle, or forest softshell turtle, is known to inhabit clear, fast-flowing streams and quiet, muddy backwaters. One of the reasons it's often so difficult to find is because it spends a good portion of its day lying partially submerged in the water. Its distinctive shell pattern acts as the perfect camouflage. However, eye spots on its shell can be a dead giveaway. These are an eye-like marking found in butterflies, reptiles, cats, birds, and fish. They are also called stigmas and are likened to certain skin pigments that many humans have. The Malayan softshell turtle is medium to dark brown green. Its shell is flat with straight sides and can measure up to 35 centimeters long in adulthood. Their head is relatively large in comparison to their total size, and their neck is long with stripes along the top and orange underneath. These traits all add to the little turtle's charming appearance, but don't be fooled. They have a very strong set of jaws on them. They use these to crush the shells of snails and other mollusks before feeding on them. Number 2. Pig-Nosed Turtle, Caridocellus in Sculpta. Native to northern Australia and southern New Guinea, the pig-nosed turtle gets its original name from, you guessed it, its nose. A prominent feature on the turtle's face, the nose is more like a snout and gives the turtle a unique appearance. I'm sure it comes in pretty handy for sniffing out dinner, too. The sole survivor of the Caretocheliidae family, the pig nose is believed to have ancestors dating back about 140 million years. That's more than 70 million years before dinosaurs were even extinct. Yeah, that's right. These guys, and many other members of the turtle species, are believed to have coexisted. This unique freshwater turtle also has flippers. This feature is more common in sea turtles and just adds to this little character's unusual appearance and charm. The pig-nosed turtle also has a leathery shell. It is typically colored gray or olive. These turtles are not completely aquatic and are known to be very aggressive and extremely territorial, unlike most other turtles and tortoises. They are a decent-sized turtle, too, weighing over 20 kilograms when fully matured. Unfortunately, like many other turtles, the pig nose is threatened with extinction. Demands on their meat and eggs for food, the international pet trade, and threats to their habitat mean their numbers are dwindling significantly. Number 1. Leopard Tortoise Stigmochelis pardalis. The leopard tortoise is widely distributed in the savannas of eastern and southern Africa. The juveniles and young adults boast attractive markings, but as they mature, these markings fade to a nondescript brown or gray. When they are born, most generally have just a couple of dots on their shells. These shells are high and domed with steep, almost vertical sides. 
Female leopard tortoises usually lay between 7 and 20 eggs at a time. Once hatched, their young grow very rapidly in the first few months, but their sex is determined by the temperature at the time of laying. It sounds bizarre, but if their mother lays her eggs in a warm environment, the sex ratio favors females. A cooler environment and she's likely to have more males. When searching for a mate, both the male and female of the species become increasingly aggressive. Rather than a romantic courtship, things take a violent turn, with the male repeatedly running into the female until she is immobilized. What a charmer. A grazing species, the leopard tortoise favors semi-arid habitats, with succulents and thistles their food of choice. The fourth largest tortoise species in the world, they can reach weights of up to 54 kilograms, slightly more than your average teenager. This tortoise is a monster. Turtles and tortoises are intriguing reptiles. They carry their protective shell wherever they go, be it land or sea. Some live in the comfort of our living rooms, others the deep, dark depths of the ocean. Most appear quite friendly, but as we know, looks can be deceiving. Take the alligator snapping turtle, for example. It is definitely not the social type. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.